So let me quickly proceed to the demo. So here I may skip some minor details for the sake of the time, but I have already pushed all the required inputs and code base. So, and we will also upload the recording of today so that you can just try and try it on your local machine at any time. And you can also refer to our previous recordings of tutorials, which does line by line explanation in more detail. So this first demo is just cloning Astrosim and compiling it with analytical backend and demystifying, explaining as input files and running Astrosim for different collective use cases. So we offer two ways to download Astrosim. You can either clone it locally from this GitHub repository and run this clone Astrosim script, or we also offer the Docker image. And once cloned, you can build the Astrosim with analytical backend running this build analytical script. So let me build the analytical backend here. For the sake of the time, I already cloned the tutorial as plus 2023 repository. So here I can just run build analytical script and it will start building the Astrosim frontend with the analytical network backend. Also, I mean the language C++. Yeah. I mean we just choose to use C++ because like for simulators it usually requires fast simulation. Yeah, but I know Garn that also uses Python and yeah. bit and NS3 is I mean NS3 backend is also based on C++. Right. Garnet as well. So that's why when I build analytical backend, I just right, use right. C++. So you don't think mm -hmm. that uh, leveraging a performance solid or something like C++ is critical for doing something? Yes, but theoretically, when the network backend supports that network API I showed before, which is the communication protocol between the front end and the network backend, right. then theoretically, yeah, any network backend can be plugged in, whether right. it's based on C++ or right. Right. Python right. or not. Yep. So I finished building the Astrosim with the analytical backend. Let me resume the presentation. So here is the very first exercise. I just want to run very simple single collective one megabyte averages with eight MPUs. So this is the target topology we want to instantiate a simple ring with eight MPUs. And for each link, I, I just want to set the link latency to be 500 nanoseconds and the bandwidth to be 50 gigabytes per second. And analytical backend requires you to specify how many outgoing links are there per each MPU. And for ring, every node has, every MPU has two links outgoing. So we can embed this information and write this JSON file for the network configuration. It's a 1D topology, which is ring. And we have eight MPUs with two outgoing links and the link latency is 500 nanoseconds and the link bandwidth is 50 gigabytes per second. And whenever the network, I mean, this is the input file for the network backend, then we need the corresponding system configuration as well. So I think Said explained a lot of details of these, but the core for this simulation is these two, I think. So we want to, when a one megabyte averages is given, we want to simulate it. We want to divide it with four chunks and simulate. And the averages algorithm we want to use is ring averages algorithm. And this is the simple collective workload layer, workload input file. The workload input file corresponds of forward input grade and weight gradient phases. And each phase you should represent What's your compute time? What's your communication? And what's the size? Here, because we want to only simulate single collective, I just set the compute time all to one. And in the weight gradient phase, I just added one over just with one megabyte size. So with all these ready, I can just go to, I can just run the binary. So I, we can just go to exercise one directory and run the script, which does nothing but running Astrosim with the corresponding input files we just created. Here I can just go exercise one and run 
exercise. Finish point. So yeah, so it finished running. These are these command line outputs. And the results are saved into this exercise one result one dash one folder. And here it dumps a lot of CSVs, but for the sake of this tutorial, I provide you this tutorial result. And I just copy and paste the result here in the slide. So this is the command line result. The core is this line all past finished at time 45k, which is in nanoseconds unit. And in the CSV file, you can see what was the result of the run. The total time here is represented in microseconds. So to run one megabyte all bridges collective on eight MPU ring, it took around 45, 46 microseconds. There were no compute time because we don't have any compute. That's why all communications are exposed. And the total message sent out per each MPU was 1.75 megabytes. So now that we run simple ring, we just want to run two other topology, which is switch and fully connected. And again, run one megabyte all bridges and compare the results. So again, we just do the very same thing here. The switch topology, the collective error, the topology or collective algorithm is helping doubling all bridges algorithm. And for switch, per each MPU, there's only one outgoing link towards the switch. And the fully connected topology best runs direct all bridges algorithm the best. And the number of outgoing links is n minus one because it's fully connected. So I create the corresponding metric input files here. Not much change, but I just changed the topology name and the number of link outgoing links count. And also for the corresponding system input file, I changed the all reduce algorithm, switch helping doubling for switch, direct for fully connected algorithm uh, topology. And here, because we want to run three runs, but at the same time, just collect one single CSV file having all the results. We should specify how many runs we want to run. So here, the number of runs is three. That's why I specify totals that rows to three. And we give index per each and every binary run. So the first run gets stat row of zero, the next one, one, the next one, two. So by doing this way, the CSV file we have in the end will have three rows in total. So with all the files ready, we can just run exercise 1-2, which will call asterism three times with corresponding network and system input files. So I will just run it. Exercise 1-2. Then the result is again dumped at result 1-2 folder. And here, as you can see, the tutorial directory has three rows in it. And yeah, these are the results. Again, there's no compute because we are just running one megabyte collective and the total time is different per each topology. But the total message size is going out is the same because we are just running the very same collective on the very same topology uh, with the same number of MPUs. And finally, I just wanna show how we compare various size all reduce on the eight size MPU ring we just made and see the trend. So we have a workload input file that has one megabyte all bridges. Instead of creating corresponding workload input file for every, every all bridges size, we can just give this option communication scale, which automatically scales the communication size. So here setting the communication scale to five just makes the communication size fivefold. So it effectively becomes five megabyte all bridges. So if we want to run all bridges of from size one megabyte up to one gigabyte, we can just create a simple for loop in the script and run the asterisk multiple times with the corresponding communication scale given. And here I set the total stat rows to 11 because that's the number of asterisk runs we are running. And again, I offer the scripts. So this is exercise one dash three. I will just run it and see the results. So this automatically called asterism 11 times, 
from one megabyte overages all up to one gigabyte overages. And to show the trend, I also offer the plotting script, just called Python plot 1-3, which will plot the collective time and the collective size. Yeah, plotting is done on my side. So if we go to this directory, we can see a bunch of results are dumped out. But again, the course, this tutorial result, which has 11 rows in it. And you can also see the plot being drawn by the script. So here we can, from this plot, we can conclude that the overages size and the total collective time is, has linear relationship. So this is some basic features of how to run Astrosynth.